what to dress. What does that mean? Or better yet, who is this guy? And why does he kind of look like me? What's up guys, welcome back to Brainwash. That game that's consistently failed to cleanse my dirty mind, but I'm not ready to give up quite yet. I've been told time and time again that the road to progress is long and hard and girthy. So for today's video, I promise there will only be some dick jokes. I really shouldn't be surprised that the moment I say that, they're gonna want me to become some kind of pee reaction channel. <laughs> Like, I can do this. Like, up first, we have the over-the-head maneuver. A dangerous, but impressive one. You know, like, on the one hand, it's the only way to pee with a raging boner. But on the other hand, once you start to run out of steam, and you will eventually, the forecast is going to change. It's going to go from golden rainbows to golden showers. So we're going to give this a shocked emoji. Even though he should probably close his eyes and mouth soon. Next up, we seem to have a guy who was too lazy to lower the seats, but enthusiastic enough to install some kind of urine trampoline. Oh, we're gonna give this one an angry emoji, because that's just gross. Moving on to the classic vanilla whiz, you know, nothing to really see here, so I guess we'll give this the old check mark. Even though I'm a little concerned with the fact that that toilet is like lazy boy sized. Why well, am I only just now noticing that? And last, but certainly not least, we've got whatever this is, and a crying emoji. I'm just not sure what it is we're crying at. Is it the fact that he's getting some rebound off the rim, or that he seems to be inclined to relieve himself and chicken dance at the same time? <laughs> Either way, completely socially unacceptable. See, there you have it. I could be a P reaction channel if I wanted to, or I, I just, I don't want to. I, I wanted to clean my mind. Okay, that was the first level. I've already met my quota. What country is this? And our options are Italy, Norway, and France. I'm not 100% sure where frog prostitution is legal, but I would imagine the fact that this is taking place in the crotch of the Eiffel Tower means this must be France. We've also got like berets and wine and a bunch of lights and yeah, there you go. It, it, it's France. If anybody from France sees this, I'm sorry? Solve the equation. Okay, there's no way this can be dirty. We've got money, we've got no, and we've got yes. Those are the only variables. Would it be no plus money equals yes? Oh my god. I'm trying not to make prostitution jokes, come on! Here we go, this is more like it. So similar to my mind, this old man just wants to stay clean. He wants to keep the dirty out. So we're gonna help him do that by getting him masked up. Even though this seems a little excessive, wouldn't you say? You know, like, uh, I'm not really sure that you need to be wearing a matching bra and panty set of masks. Like, the pandemic isn't coming for your titties, old man. No one is. What to dress? What does that mean? Or better yet, who is this guy? And why does he kind of look like me? I mean, I would imagine we're supposed to pick the most, like, fashion-forward option for our lovely lady friend here. Um, maybe we go with the pants that match the thing in your hair? Nope, that seems to have confused the bubble boy. She's still stone-faced, lights are on but no one's home. <laughs> Alright then, uh, maybe we could go with something casual on top but keep the party underneath? Nope, that is deeply upset him. Again, she's still giving off the strong ditto vibes. Oh, we should have went with the most concealing option, of course. That should have been my first choice. Now, miss, would you like to call the police on the floating man that just appeared in your closet, or should I? We need to escape the friend zone, and it's closing in on us quick. I don't suppose I'd be able to boost you up out of it. That's not the effect we're looking for. I, I liked where it was going. We're getting to crotch near face height, but it doesn't really matter if she explodes. 
maybe we need to push you over towards her? A little something like this. There we go. Don't take no for an answer. Come on. That's got to be good enough. I can only poop out so many of these long white turds. How is that not good enough? She's going to blow up. What do you mean? Are we seriously still going to pretend like this man is in the friend zone? Look at his face. Oh, crap. No, we really don't want it falling over on her, though. Like I said, I'm interested in where this is going, but... I don't know if dragging your balls on her face is really going to help at all. That cane is getting real close to the danger zone. I gotta be missing something here, right? Oh, right. It's impossible to escape the friend zone. Of course. Well, then you could just stay dead over there. I tried my best. I'm genuinely starting to think that the name of this game was meant to be ironic because there's no way that you accidentally throw under boob at someone. What country is this? Italy, Norway, or the UK? Right, that is the UK, isn't it? The old Union Jack? She's got the cross on her face and she's got a soccer ball in front of her. That's my best guess. I'm having a hard time focusing on anything else in the picture. Oh, thank God. What could you do? I swear to God, if the answer is each other, I am going to lose my mind. Like, you have to understand, I've made like 2,000 YouTube videos with a backbone of dirty jokes. It's like going from Major League Baseball to T-Ball. They are just spoon-feeding this to me, and it's really off-putting. What is missing? Well, usually I would use this X-ray magnifying glass for closer inspection, we'll say, but evidently this is just a regular magnifying glass or not. Well, there you go, ma'am. We found your invisible alarm clock. I guess that'd be kind of useful if you keep hitting snooze until you can't find it. Find all tattoos. Yeah, this was what I was talking about. Okay, good. <laughs> you can never be too certain. Okay, well, we've got ourselves a moon and an ice cream bar. <laughs> All right, and uh, stars. I don't think you can tattoo your hair. Okay. Fill with color. Well, that is quite the perky silhouette. Uh, okay, this is like multiple circles. I was gonna say this might be a little bit challenging, but I'd say we'll be able to pull it off one way or another. Do something like this. Okay, yep. And uh, maybe down there it is. That is now full of color and silicone. I'll admit, sometimes the clues that they give me in broken English just confuse me further, but every now and then I wish I could get one. <laughs> I'm just looking at a stick man who's winking at me and what looks like a hand. You want the, the hand? Oh, really? <laughs> Come on, man. Who's back there? Spin the bottle. Oh, dear Jesus. Okay, well, we got a 33% chance of success. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep spinning. Don't mind me. Is this thing rigged? It, it feels like it might be a little... It's clearly rigged. I'm, I'm not even in control. Oh, oh, it's not rigged. Everything is fine. It, it, it doesn't matter. This is the one that I'll keep. Thank you. Come on, I said I would keep it. You don't need to send me to the guy's game. This is a loss for me no matter what, even though I did figure out the bottle. It turns out that I need to actually hold down on it. I was just clicking it once, which is why I was doing the same thing over and over again until I got really mad at it. But we gotta try to not land on the hippo. Come on, Tyrannosaurus hunk. Yeah, there we go. Uh, not interested. Yes, Brainwash, after 20-something levels of your madness, I would like a drink. But I don't think I'm gonna get one because it looks like I've got a couple of crotches to play with. I would imagine I'm gonna do a little something 
like that. And I, I guess I'll just make my own drink. Take a photo with a lot of likes, and let me guess, it's not gonna be some kind of pigeon photo, and it's not gonna be a photo of the never-ending void. Let's get you away from that ledge. We'll put the birds on the ledge. Yeah, that's where they should be, and then you can take a picture of them, and you can take a picture of those. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. 18 likes versus 1800 likes. It's just a picture of cropped out cheeks. They're just floating there. Oh, don't worry, Point Dexter. I will save you with my absolutely massive, colossal, girthy. Oh, it's coming for you. No, it doesn't matter how much you shoot, it's coming for you. <laughs> Brings an all new meaning to the phrase cock block. I think it's pretty safe to say at this point of the episode that it's a complete write-off. Like, I, I don't even need to try anymore. If we're gonna need to save the zebra, then I might as well draw myself a massive old honkin' pair of somethings. Like this, there we go. And then <laughs> Gator can get crushed and it'll just keep falling to the center of the earth. Did you know that's what the middle of the earth is made up of? My titty drawings, I swear. This game shouldn't be called Brainwash. It should be called Brain Damage because I feel like I'm dying. You'd think after five years of doing YouTube, I'd know better, but I honestly didn't think I would wake up this morning and be doing butthole math. <laughs> Apparently, a giant swirling turd equals 70, and then a horizontal roll and a vertical roll is worth a giant swirling turd, and a vertical roll plus 18 equals 58, so then a horizontal roll would be worth 30, right? Because a horizontal is 40, there we go. Yeah, quick butthole math, that's what I'm talking about. Where is the brain? It's, oh, 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 crap. Uh, okay, no, I'm following, I'm following. No, 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 lady, you don't get to hide your brains from me. I've been staring at this for like 30 seconds now, and I can't for the life of me figure out what is supposed to be happening. It looks like Vincent Van Price called up somebody's grandmother, despite the fact that they're not socially distancing, and now he's getting ready to slap her right upside the head. Which isn't a very nice thing to do. Don't slap grandma. We're gonna be gentle with grandma. Do you like that? She doesn't like that. That is a bad touch. Oh, we can have a worse touch, Grandma. Just you wait. Oh, no, she doesn't like that either. Oh, we're probably supposed to steal her money. Except this arm is a little bit loosey-goosey, kind of like Grandma. Which is why we have a conveniently placed arm hook in the ceiling. Yeah, that adds up. I mean, th this happens all the time. This is what telemarketing scams are. Find the king? Like the, the king of the eggs? I didn't think eggs had a monarchy, but then again, I, I guess I don't really know a whole lot about egg culture. Apparently, they can split into little 2D penguins. That's news to me. I mean, I also didn't think that eggs had a democracy. You know, I didn't expect them to be lining up to vote. Like, I kind of wonder why they give you levels like this. They're not a test of skill or chance. It's just kind of there to make you underestimate the other levels. No, this hot dog looks so happy. I don't want to cut him into four equal pieces. <laughs> why would you make me do something like that? This might be a little tricky. With the arms? We do something like... Oh, I might have screwed up. Uh, I might have screwed up. That middle one's real big. Uh, it might be a bit too much. Okay, they're giving me like a 10% differential. It's forgiving. Not to the hot dog, but to me. In what country do the architectural towers lean even further than the spaghetti towers? <laughs> Finland? That's Finland, by the way. I thought it was Norway. Norway is a completely different color, but I believe the same flag. So is it Finland, France, or Italy? Again, I really don't think that Italy has Sonic knockoffs serving spaghetti, but if they do, then consider me a future tourist. Ooh, we've got ourselves some Mount Olympus dating. Apparently I'm Zeus, and we can match with Apollo, the most beautiful god. Questionable. Aphrodite, who's apparently 
just a goddess and 22, which is like a fetus in god years, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Considering it, Hera, housewife, is she actually Zeus's wife? Should I pick her? I'll think about it. Poseidon, co-founder and technically brother, I believe, so that's a no. And Apollo again. I kind of want to go with the young one, but... Oh, did that... Oh, no, hold on. It's not swipe right for yes. You gotta do that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Come on. I know that I should technically go with Hera, but I mean, come on. She's the she's the goddess of love. Why won't she love me? Fine. All right. I mean, she's nothing to shake a stick at either. 29 is still, you know, d developmental stages for a god in all reality. If Zeus is like 5,000, that would be the equivalent of me dating someone who's like 10 minutes old. What's the number you should call when there's a pet emergency? I don't know if this cat is blowing a bubble or if he just licked a bee and his tongue is having a really, really bad reaction. I don't really want to pop it. Because if it is his tongue or a lung, then this isn't going to go well. Oh, it was gum. Or he's just sucking it back into his mouth. Still not sure, that's for a vet to decide. Why do I feel like this guy is focusing really hard to hurl his dick into a cake? <laughs> is that what I'm supposed to do? Or am I supposed to time it just right so that it, huh? I mean, that was dead on the money. I, I guess I could try hitting him in the face. Okay. So it was a cream pie, but we didn't want him to cream pie. I can definitely remember playing a level like this before. But not just the fact that we're participating in the P Olympics, but also that there is a cat in picture in picture wearing VR glasses for reasons. I don't really know why, but let's see if we can. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. There we go. Keep that off your face. Just uh, try to get some backboard. Oh, that's not really working. Oh, God, it's all over him. This is what I was worried about earlier. You try to be a hero, but you'll live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Come on. Why are we not? We're getting too much bounce and then not enough bounce. Can we get a little bit more of an arc on? No, I'm making things worse. I'm sorry that I'm not all that experienced messing around with pee bouncing. This might take a while. Do I need to fill up the entire toilet? Do I need to get? Oh, oh, that's too little. A little bit more. A little bit. Come on, come on. We're, we're getting a dribble now. He's running out. Hold up a minute, I can use the picture-in-picture -picture cat as a backboard? That makes so much more sense, and yet absolutely no sense. <laughs> All right, I don't know if that's a gold medal or a traumatic experience, but I think I'm gonna leave it on that. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Brainwash, guys. And once again, I'm pretty sure my brain was not washed in the slightest. It feels like it was rolling around out in the mud, but I just love playing this game. It's so random and so funny. And if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to figure out what these gingerbread people are doing soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.